Hello YouTube and welcome to the third, what is this? What is that circle in my hand? I don't know. Welcome to the third episode for the Rombek Triacon Tehedron, where we're going to build 30 of these. So I'm going to show you a quick way of getting 30 if you only have one. So let's say that you did what I did. You followed the episodes to the T, let's just say that, right? So here's what you can do. Before you do the modules on it, now supposing you did, it's fine. But we're going to take advantage of the fact that this whole rectangle thing, we can actually have one, two, three, four, and we don't need to count all of them, but we now can count down one, two, three, four. So there are 16 rectangles inside of this rectangle, right? So I'm going to do a jump cut. I'm going to cut them. The jump cut. Boom. All right. I know how YouTube loves jump cuts. Maybe that's prejudice of mine. So the idea is that each of these has the same ratio as the full thing of it. Now, why that is interesting is because we can take one of them and pretty much repeat the process that we did. Now, this one was cut pretty poorly, so I'm gonna get a better one. Uh, of course, getting your halves. I'm gonna show this one more time, just in case, just in case you're skipping around. Of course, this episode is gonna be a little bit excessively long because I'm not even gonna show me folding all of them. Maybe I'll do a jump cut. I'm doing, we're making these decisions on the fly, as you might imagine. Okay, so we have a little rectangle thing inside. Let's do a little zoom zoom. Take away these so we can only see this. Ever so small. Now we got. That one. Now you don't have to go to full 16, you can just keep it in the fourths, right? You can just fold it in half and half and then extract four out of each page. Now this way, the advantage of doing it like I'm doing it now is that you only need to construct two golden rectangles and from each of them you're going to get 16 little units. So once you have your 16 little units, you're going to get, uh, from two of them, you're going to get 32. And you only need 30. So pretty much half of the of the thing is done already. You just need to actually fold these. Okay, keeping track, keeping track. There we go. So same deal as before, it's the same rum, same ratio, it's only very, very small. And now we actually have to make all of them. So that pretty much substitute for that one. So let's go ahead and re-put re this into position, do a little zoom zoom. I'll put them in order and then I'll do jump cuts as I do each one of them. So it should be a little exciting little trick of editing, right? These aren't even properly arranged, as you might tell, but it's fine. All right, jump cuts. And done. Jump cut. Uh, there was one that I think I screwed the pooch. But you get the idea, right? So I made 16 out of these. So now let's put them together. Let's do a little zoom zoom. So these kind of just like slide into one another. <laughs> so he says. There you go. These go three by three like this. Like little weird hexagons. So I'm kind of using my nail to open up the pocket a little bit. Some pockets are kind of more open than others, but that's the general idea. So you see here that it's not, it's not a bad union. It's kind of holding itself together quite nicely. I think it's because of the size. By the way, these faces should be flat. You shouldn't use this like other origami things. This should be completely flat. 
So if you go on the Wikipedia page for the shape, you're going to see that this is made up of, the, of course, the golden rum. And they'll put little numbers on these rums. So they'll put a five on these two points and two threes on these points. But that means that these points connect in threes and these points connect in fives. Right? One, two, three, four, and then here, five. So this is the fifth, so this has to close. This will happen many a times. Well, for me, it happens all the time when, when I'm folding this. But I have found that once you finish up, once you actually put all the pieces in this, it actually holds its own sort of well. It's not the best. It really isn't. But it is the accurate shape. That's what I like about it. It's exactly that shape. It's exactly the rhombic triacontahedron. And it's a nice little, little, little challenge, you know. So you see that this one like really wants to open up. So you kind of have to be very careful with the way that you put these together. But of course, once you tie them up, the more you put in, the more stable it gets. And in my case, well, I have here 16 of them. So I still need another 14 in order for this to close properly. So I show you how to fold them, but now I wanted to show you how to put them together. You can see that the openings are not really, you know, they're not meant to hold this together, but they will sort of hold the shape. They'll hold, they'll hold their own for a little bit, but you got to be real careful. So of course, because the, the more, the tightest shape is this threeness, I'm trying to focus on, on constructing those. We're putting those together since they seem to be the ones with the, the better result in terms of structure. It's like a little chihuahua dog, don't it? So as I was saying, it starts to hold its own as you put it together, not, not right at the get-go. Which is a little different from other kinds of origami modulars that people are, are used to doing. At least that I was used to doing. But the advantage or disadvantage for this one is that each module represents a face, whereas other Kusudama modulars sometimes represent an edge or a vertex. I don't know much that actually represent faces. Maybe it's uh, haven't broadened my horizons enough, you know. Who knows? So again, being as careful as I can be with this, because at any moment I could drop it, and it would explode. So if I drop this while I'm putting it together, it will most certainly explode. So it kind of makes it interesting, makes it fun. I think you're like in Mission Impossible or some shit. You can't drop it. But at the same time, you can't spread it too far. Open up the pocket, you gotta slide this in. Oh, it's, it's some, some nasty cardiac stuff, man. Your heart rate's just gonna go up, 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 up. You gotta be real maniac. But at the end, I think that the shape is worth it. I think that's the most the most worthwhile trick, and that's sort of like to to separate them a little bit, but leave it connected, leave it like a little bit within, and then you kind of just push it into position. This one has a little bump in there. This one has something that's not allowing it to fully get there, but it's fine. So it, sound, it, it feels very fragile, it's almost like an egg. 
And that's because the forces are sort of spreading apart from each other. But, you know, as I was saying, once we put all the pieces in, the forces just kind of push each other out. So it's, it's more balanced, but it's hard. The only person who has seen, who has shared with me the results for this, used glue. It's not a knock on them, but it just made it a lot easier for them because they were having exactly this problem. That the, while they were putting it together, it kind of like slipped out of position. It's like, you know, she got frustrated. Understandably so. Now you see. Besides, if you don't have all the pieces, it's just, it's almost futile. Like, why even bother putting it together if you don't have all the pieces, almost. But I wanted to show you how it looks as you put it together and the challenge that it, that it kind of holds intrinsically. But it's nice that it's an accurate representation. So there we go. All 16 pieces are tied into this thing. It's not complete by any measure, by any stretch. But once it is, it'll look a lot better. It's kind of like a trapeze act, you're just holding this thing. My favorite angle for this is that, this shape that forms. It's quite pleasing to almost like see it, tease it being a hexagon. So we gotta make another one, of course. Luckily, I folded one from before. So I gotta cut this rectangle out. That's a golden rectangle. Split this into 16s and get 16 more of these and repeat the process in order to complete this cap. So I'll be doing that tomorrow because responsibilities and work. So we'll leave it at that. Thank you very much. Catch you next time. Bye-bye.